But you say you do apologize because you apologize to Ti and you apologize when you said what you said about the you pimping know, back in the, the day. Pimping back in the day. So was it a thing where you maybe needed to go back to him and apologize for something well, that you I, did I, or said? I obviously don't know what it was because I, I actually <laughs> I, I tried to talk to him. So if I did anything wrong to Vlad, which I don't look in the camera, and but, but but Vlad, if I did, I apologize, man. <laughs> if I did something wrong, I do remember calling you one time and I was a little aggressive and I apologize for that. But it wasn't no disrespect, you know. It was just I guess I was trying to get in contact with him and he was busy and I was like, you know, woo woo. I yeah, we on boss talk one on one. And everything, and we talked about it. People don't know, man, like we care about Pimps and le Legacy. We not here trying to, nobody won't even do all that. But like I said, I, I showed, you would send me things, I would send you things just saying, here's the false narrative that they're trying to paint. And then also, people that are on the outside. They're going to probably do it. Wait a minute, people one. tried to come out on the outside, bigger brands that been around longer than I have, and and, and say, oh, you heard about the the the, the, the no, Pippa man, Ken. listen who, Vlad, yeah, Vlad, 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 did Vlad, Vlad. I didn't want to just name him. No, he, but no, but, but it but, wasn't just no, him. But listen, it was listen, other Jews there too. I one of the first dudes that ever was on Vlad when he first came out. Oh, you out. was on Vlad? Really? Man, I was on Vlad. My, I had like 10 million views. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was How many times have been on Vlad? I was on there one time. Okay. So, and, and, the, and the last time I talked to Vlad is when he was interviewing Grady. Okay. In Atlanta, so I I, I came in, in the middle of the interview because you know he don't interview for real. He interviewed behind a camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I it came in the interview. Said what's up, Vlad? And then I called him. I said what's up, man? I said man, you know when you gonna have me on the show again? What he he said, said he said I'm thinking about it. He said I, I got a, a busy schedule. So when he asked Boosie, you know about the uh, uh, right. do you know I don't know if you heard about this or not, but you know who Pimp and Ken is right? Yeah. Uh, Pimp and Ken did a, a couple interviews actually where he claims that Pimp C showed him a sex tape with one of the biggest rappers in the world, one of the biggest R&B chicks in the world. He had a sex tape. Have you heard about this at all? He yeah. called you. He, he called you. you. He should know I know Boosie. I just said, if he, if he seen that yeah, he interview, he seen all the other Boosie. interviews saying that, you know, I got right. Boosie a book deal. So you right. know I know Boosie and you know I know you, Vlad. I mean, don't act like I'm a stranger. You know, I knew you he before. You know, all these guys knew you. Right. So all he had to do was call me and that's why I put on the, uh, on the Instagram, Vlad. Y'all tell Vlad to call me call and you. ask me about the tape. Exactly. I would give you, you don't ask Boosie, why would you ask Boosie about some a tape? You know what I'm saying? He didn't have I mean, him on his, it was on the platform that it wasn't even I mean, centralized it didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so you did one interview with him before, a long time ago. Is there anything that happened between that interview well, and I, now I, where, I, I was kind of, I was kind of a little crazy back then. I, I don't want to say what, what happened, but it, I was a little okay, crazy. I knew it must have and, been something. You know, I mean, you got to remember. You got to remember. I've been paying attention most of my life. Right. I'm a little gangster. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that really know me know I'm I can be aggressive, you know what I mean? Sometimes I push up on niggas and I you know what I'm saying, if I see, you know, niggas, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm not just that, you know, I'm not that regular dude. They'll tell you. I'm 58 years. I still, I'm still that way. You know what I'm saying? I don't play. I don't. I don't tolerate no sucker shit. I don't tolerate no weak shit. Right. So I'm gonna come if I see you being weak or you tripping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confront you. You, it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I may do it the wrong way, and 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 I think about it. I said, damn, man, what the fuck? But you know, it it, it, it can come out. But you say you do apologize because you apologize to Ti and you apologize when you said what you said about the pimping back in the day. Pimping back in the day. So was it a thing where you maybe needed to go back to him and apologize for something well, that I, you did I, or said? I obviously don't know what it was because I, I actually <laughs> I, I tried to talk to him. So if I did anything wrong to Vlad, which I don't look it. in the camera and but, say but, it? but but Vlad, if I did, I apologize, man. <laughs> if I did something wrong, I do remember calling you one time and I was a little aggressive and I apologize for that. But it wasn't no disrespect, you know. It was just I guess I was trying. To get in contact with him, and he was busy, and I was like, you know, woo woo. I even did it to Ice T. I, I text Ice T uh, on, on the thing. I said, nigga, what's up? Why you ain't answer my call? It just, it's up. It's just a little, you know. I, sometimes I get a little, you know, irritated, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean. Like I said, you know, I, I might respond to shit the wrong way, yeah. but it ain't intentional. You know, what I'm saying? it's just, it's like, it's like, you know, like I said, you know, it's weird. It's a weird way to explain it, but it's like, you know, when you're in the joint and you come up in the penitentiary all your life, you see weak niggas. You, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, you gonna press you know what I'm saying? So you know yeah. what I mean? Or oh, if a nigga see you weak, they gon' yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? They, so yeah, it become a test your it's like a penitentiary response. Yeah, it's yeah. not an intelligent response. So sometimes people see me reacting as a penitentiary response, just like what I said. You know that almost got me killed. It was a penitentiary response. It wasn't no you know like man, no real thinking man. But you know that just come. But it be a madness and it be a response at the same time. 
I don't know if you had you experienced what yeah, I'm saying. No, no, I it's like you you mad it. and you responding. That's the wrong That's time to respond. That's not the right time to respond. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.